This video's aim is to help if you are suffering from a meniscal tear which is a torn cartilage in your knee. The most common cause of a meniscal tear is twisting the knee under a weight bearing load in an unlocked position. Sometimes a click or noise can be felt or heard at the time. Swelling usually occurs but will not be instant, so it can take several hours or even days to build up. Afterwards the knee can sometimes lock, click and give way, but this isn't in 100% of cases. Although trauma is a common cause, it may also come over time and be as a result of wear and tear. A meniscal tear can fully resolve without surgery, but it will take time, sometimes up to six months. During this healing time, it is vital to settle down the swelling and pain and restore or maintain full range of movement and strength. Within your joint, there are three main bones, the femur, the thigh bone, the tibia, your shin bone, and the patella, your kneecap. There are also ligaments, which help to stabilize the joint, tendons, which connects the muscles to bone. There are bursas, which are small fluid filled sacs, which help to prevent friction within the knee. And of course, the meniscus, the cartilage, which acts like a shock absorber. Any of these structures can be injured, causing pain in your knee. And it is possible that your injury could include these structures as well, or instead of the meniscus. If you are unsure based on the content of this video, which is just a guide, then book an assessment with your physiotherapist. Due to the complex nature of the knee, you should ideally have it diagnosed by your GP or physiotherapist. Occasionally further investigations such as an x-ray or an MRI scan are needed to correctly diagnose the problem. How can you help yourself? If you have sustained an acute injury to your knee, you can follow the PRISOM guidelines. P. Protect the knee with a support. R. Rest the knee. Don't continue to play sport on it. Consider the use of crutches if too painful to walk. I. Ice the knee. Apply ice for no longer than 15 minutes at a time and always wrap the ice in a towel to avoid damage to the skin. C. Compression of the area will help to limit swelling. However, this should not stop blood flow. Tube grip can help. E. Elevate the whole leg to help limit swelling. M. Movement. Pain tolerated movement will stop joint stiffness and weakness. If the pain in your knee is too severe to walk on, or if you have severe pain over a bone, or you suspect a fracture, then you must go to A&E. If the pain does not ease after a few days, consult your GP. After 48 to 72 hours, you need to gradually get your mobility back. A physiotherapist can guide you through these exercises and can help you to put a tailored exercise program together. Firstly, you need to get the knee joint moving. Knee flexion in a chair. While sitting on a chair, try sliding your heel back so that your knee is bent. When it is as far back as you can tolerate, hold for five seconds and slowly release. Repeat this five times and repeat with the other leg if required. Do this exercise little and often. Knee extension in a chair. Put your foot up on a stool sitting in a chair. Allow your knee to hang in a straight position and apply downward pressure on your knee to give extra stretch. Hold for 10 seconds and repeat twice. Repeat for the opposite leg if required and repeat this exercise little and often. The next aim is to stretch the muscles around the knee joint as these can get tight. Quad stretch. In standing, lift your right heel up towards your bottom, keeping your knees together and your upper leg and body vertical. 
Now pull your heel as close to your bottom as possible and hold the stretch for 30 seconds. If you can't reach, then use a towel looped around your ankle to pull it up. Swap and repeat for the left leg. Repeat three times a day. In the early stages, the knee joint bending may be more of a limiting factor than the muscle, but the aim is to feel the stretch in the thigh muscle. Hamstring stretch. Lie on your back, lift your right leg up off the ground, keeping your knee straight. Now reach and hold your leg with both hands and pull it up as far as you can while maintaining a straight knee. Hold for 30 seconds, then repeat with the left leg if needed. If you can't reach with your hands, use a towel and loop it behind the leg. Repeat three times a day. Calf stretch. To stretch the right leg, take a long stride forward with your left leg, keeping both of your feet pointing forwards. Now while keeping your back knee straight and your back heel in contact with the floor, start to bend your front knee and lean your body forwards until you feel a stretch in your back leg's calf. Hold for 30 seconds and then repeat for the other leg if needed. Repeat three times a day. If you get worsening symptoms or are unsure, then initially reduce the push into the discomfort. And if this isn't enough, then stop altogether and consult your physiotherapist. After several days, you should hopefully notice increased flexibility and possibly reduced pain generally. When things are improving, you can start to do some light strengthening exercises. You should always be pain free during these exercises and should start with body weight only. Straight leg raise. And either long sitting or lying down, squeeze your knee straight and pull your toes up toward you. Now maintain a straight knee, lift your leg off the ground about 30 centimeters and hold for five seconds. Then slowly lower back to the start position. Repeat five times and swap legs if required. Inner range quads. In either long sitting or lying down, with a pillow or rolled up towel under your knee, slowly lift your heel up off the ground and get the knee as straight as possible. Hold for five seconds and then slowly lower back down to the start position. Repeat five times and swap legs if required. Static quads into full extension. In long sitting or lying, prop a rolled up towel or pillow under your heel. Now squeeze your knee as straight as possible. Hold for 20 seconds and relax. Repeat twice and swap legs if required. These exercises are early rehab and you need to progress beyond these as you are able. An example of further exercises or squats, lunges, calf raises, and much more. Remember, injuries take time to recover and do so gradually, so be patient, there are no miracle cures. Physiotherapists are trained to treat knee pain. They use evidence-based techniques such as deep tissue friction massage, ultrasound, acupuncture, and an exercise program which can help to settle symptoms and aid the healing process.